Hi guys, so in today's video I have a haul for you guys. So I haven't actually filmed a video in a long time. I think the last video I filmed was at the guinea pigs three months ago at the very beginning of lockdown. But yes, yeah, so I took a really big break from YouTube, from everything, because obviously I had to finish my college work because I was studying a level two um, technical animal care course. I actually got accepted onto my level three last week. So I start that in the next few weeks. And yeah, so I've just got a lot to go do before I start college and I thought I'm just going to go out, buy the pet stuff, just to kind of keep them occupied because I obviously won't be spending as much time with them. This is mostly for the rabbits and the guinea pigs. So yeah, and also I have the dog over there. So the first place I went to was, I think it's called Pound. Pound in my local shopping centre. So yeah, the first thing I got was for the rabbits and two of the guinea pigs. They get have on these big bush balls with um, a bell in and he actually loves it. So I thought, why not get one for the rabbits and one for the guinea pigs? So, yeah, I don't really mind the colour, but yeah, and this was just a pound and I do hope we're trying to get into the bag. Some pound and below. <laughs> then I went to Wilkinson's. Yes, and then next I went to Wilco. So I got a Board and Breaker Choo Choo Blodge. I love these for the guinea pigs. It's a really good chew. It's made out of vegetable, starch, or parch parchment. I don't know what the hell it is. But yeah, they absolutely love these. Like They pee and poo in them and they end up destroying them and they chew them and yes. So these, this was only £1.50 and these last quite a while. And yes, I quite like those. The next thing I got from Rocco was this. So I am all for giving my animals mental enrichment and with guinea pigs you kind of have to use food to be honest because guinea pigs are lazy and they basically don't do anything otherwise unless it's for food so i got this wilco beard cake and scraps feeder and you just open the top and you put veggies in it and yeah so i think i already have one of these out but i decided to get another one because they love them and yeah, it's just a good way to keep them mentally stimulated and just to kind of keep their brains going. And this was only a pound, so they only had one left, otherwise I probably would have got more. Then I went, then, sorry from Wilco, I got this. And this is another one of my guinea pigs' favourites. I would have got another one, it's just it was five pound. And my guinea pigs, for some random reason, love this material and they just absolutely just go through it and they destroy it. So this is a stack and hide den. It's um, Rose would do one that's the exact same on Amazon and um, Viva and stuff like that. And yes, that's I think slightly more, but the guinea pigs absolutely go through these. They pee and poo and they chew this to hell. And yeah, I think I'm going to give this to Albert and Archie because Albert and Archie are very weird with toys. Like they only like certain toys and they will ignore absolutely everything else. And they aren't big chewers, so I do like to give them stuff like that. Then I went to Home and Bargain. I didn't, to be fair, get much. I literally only got this food for the dogs, which is not their general food. I just occasionally like to like mix up food, wet food, whereas their dry food always stays the same. I feed AVA dry food, which is a really good dry food. I know some people, I have actually tried raw. Basil will only eat raw chicken, breast, that's it. And to be fair, there's a lot that goes into a raw diet that I don't know much about. It is something that I'm looking into, but at the moment I do feed a mix between dry bread, you can eat a really good vet recommended dry food mixed with a um, high quality um, wet food. I just occasionally change my wet foods up to keep the dogs um, interested. So I got the High Life Salmon Terrain or Terrain with sweet potato and peas. 60% salmon and 100% natural ingredients. So this camera is terrible at focusing. But yeah, this is basically just what it's got. So it's got salmon, sweet potato, peas, yucca, rapeseed oil, and chicory. Then I got the high life chicken terrain or terrain, and that's basically what with um, sweet potato and broccoli, and it's basically got the same stuff in. And yes, so that will not ask me with the dogs. Then I went to Palm Stretcher, which the Palm Stretcher local to me does not have a pet hut in, but the one further away does. And yeah, I've been trying to find one of these for ages, one of these tunnels, and I don't really need to order anything, and I didn't really want to spend this pound online, so I was like, I'll just bring my just went over the pound today, like, but yeah, so I got one of these for the rabbits, and it's a um, giant, I think it's a giant size, 
yeah, so it's a giant bottom breaker YouTube, which my rabbits are huge. They are lion heads cross something. Yeah, they're both males. I think they're three kilograms each, which is quite big. And yeah, so they don't really like toys. Like the only toy they will actually touch is the treat ball that I have for them and a um football they like to push around the garden. Like I bought them other toys like tunnels and they ignore them. But this I hope they will chew as well. <laughs> Then from Pet Touch I got two of these treats. I don't really buy my animals treats very often. It's extremely rare that my animals get treats to be honest. So I got two of these and these are the Simply Nibbles treats and these are garden herb and apple cushions. The guinea pigs and the hamsters and the rabbits can have these. There's nothing great the rabbits can't have to be honest. Or the guinea pigs, there's no like um wheat or anything in it. So yeah, there's no dairy. So yeah, and that was a pound and that's everything I got. I spent like over like twenty quid, twenty-five quid on all this crap. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.